Hi everyone. Today is our special day. Today is our graduation day. I have been waiting for this day because I have been in my undergrad for the last year of September 2021 in Glasgow University. I have been in Adam Smith Business School for the Master's Sejun Apply Kuri. And today is our graduation. So it's a very special day for me. So join me in my graduation ceremony, Glasgow University Adam Smith Business School class of 2022. Mm, cool. Where is this place? Yeah. So I'm Rakun there. Hall is where we ceremony to have. Our hall is a beaut hall, so it's very beautiful, ancient. As you know, Glasgow University is Scotland's second oldest university. So, a shop, academic building, will be very and traditional, very historical. So, we are going to see the beaut hall. Economy tools are bomb or seated.
Now, in this city of Glasgow, we have a phrase, in fact, you can see it painted on many walls uh, of buildings, that people make Glasgow. And in all the years that I've been at this university, I can say that this is without a doubt true. In my experience, the people we meet here in Glasgow and at the University of Glasgow embody everything about, about this phrase. As well as being talented and inspiring individuals, our students and colleagues are welcoming, they are compassionate, and they do care about the biggest challenges facing our planet. And in today's climate, I think we should be proud to say that our community cares for one another. We have a truly international level. We're extremely proud of our reputation as an inclusive, welcoming, and civic institution. Just in the last couple of weeks, we were officially recognized as a University of Sanctuary, an institution which is committed to welcoming refugees, asylum seekers, and forced migrants. And whilst we've seen the stoking of division and hatred by some who would seek to isolate the United Kingdom and neglect those fleeing in the most terrible circumstances, I think it's vital that universities and institutions like ours step up and make our values clear. <laughs> It is educational links. It is those people-to-people -people links which will keep humankind united in what binds us together. The need to address challenges that we share as inhabitants of this planet, from climate change to health and many others beside, and which we will be solved if we work together. As graduates of Glasgow, we know that you will go on to carry these values wherever you go throughout your life. With the memories of friends, classmates, tutors, lecturers you met from across the world, call our campus home. And graduates, make no mistake about it, today is a pivotal moment in each of your lives. Graduation comes from the Latin word gradus. It literally means taking a step up. It's a point of transition. It's a marker between one stage and the next. Now, like any moment of change, I'm sure this will be both an exhilarating but also an anxious people. A time of mixed emotions, excitement about the future, but perhaps some trepidation and uncertainty. So I thought it up to share with you a quote by the 18th century poet William Blake, who said the following, and I quote, In seed time learn, in harvest speech, in winter enjoy. So we meet today on a brisk Glaswegian's winter's day, nice day, and here to enjoy, here to celebrate all that you've learned and achieved, those seeds of knowledge, those ambitions that you've been planting and nourishing since your very first week at Glasgow, and which now have blossomed in the successes that we recognize today. And having acknowledged the fortitude of you, our, our graduates, I also want to pay a tribute to my colleagues today. Some of them are here in the salt, but many of them are not. The last few years have tested us all, and you, our graduates, would not be sitting today here if it wasn't for the commitment, for the adaptability, and the sheer hard work of each and every one of my colleagues who've taught and supported you throughout your time in Glasgow. They've kept the university going throughout the pandemic. Now, whilst you have closed the chapter in this period of your life, you're embarking, as I said, in a new season. Indeed, some of you already will have gone on to your new careers, to move to a new place. Some of you may have taken this period of time to reflect on what you want to do, where you want to go. Perhaps, for some of you, it's further study. Now, your new ventures will invite a challenge, but as you have inclusively demonstrated today, you can rise to the challenge. You can succeed. <laughs>